Tissue lame is an eye-catching fabric due to its metallic sheen. This makes it a go-to fabric for costumes, but it can also be used for other garments and craft projects. This video will provide tips for working with this tricky fabric. Some issues you may have with tissue lame are, it's not an easy fabric to care for, it's lightweight and lacks stability, it's delicate and can be damaged easily, it frays like crazy, it might feel scratchy against your skin. You'll definitely want to read the fabric label. Tissue lame is a combo of nylon and metallic fibers, so it cannot handle a high heat for things like pressing or fusible interfacing. It may also be dry clean only. When laying out your pattern pieces, use the layout for napped fabric. You'll want all your fabric pieces to be going in the same direction so the grain line is especially important. I'll mark an arrow on my grain line if there isn't one already, pointing to the bottom of the pattern to make the layout more clear. This fabric can be damaged and snagged easily. If you use straight pins, place them within the seam allowance area only. Or you can use pattern weights and a rotary cutter to cut out your pieces. Be aware that the metallic threads in your fabric will dull your pins, needles, and scissors. After your project, you may need to sharpen your shears or use cheaper shears to cut out your fabric. You can also cut out with pinking shears to delay fraying, but it won't stop it completely. After you cut out your pieces, you can finish all of the edges of your cut pieces with a zigzag or overcast stitch on your sewing machine. Or apply a product to stop fraying, but apply lightly as this product might stain the fabric. Fraying is definitely the biggest complaint with this fabric. Not only does it not look good, but if it frays enough, your seams can simply come apart due to weakness caused by the fraying. Because of this, consider doing an enclosed type of seam instead of the typical flat seams. One option is a French seam. Place your fabrics wrong size together and sew a seam at a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Trim your seam allowance to less than a quarter inch. On the wrong side of the fabric, pinch the seam allowance area so the seam line is in the center, then sew a quarter inch seam allowance. This is the right side. And this is the wrong side. The raw edge is completely enclosed. You can also do a flat felled seam for another enclosed seam option. See our description for a link to this tutorial. When sewing on your machine, you'll want to use sharp needle size 7010. Use a new needle and change it throughout your project because the fabric will dull it and a dull needle will cause snags. Use a good quality all-purpose thread. Use a standard stitch length of 2.5. Your thread tension should also be standard. Start at a mid-level like a 4 and adjust after testing on swatches of the fabric. If thread tension doesn't stop fabric puckering, sew with tissue paper between the presser foot and fabric. When finished with the seam, tear the tissue paper off. For marking the fabric, use a fabric marker that disappears over time. When pressing, you'll want to use a low heat setting for nylon and press on the wrong side of the fabric using a press cloth. To give the fabric more stabilization and make it less see-through, consider using an underlining. This will also make it more comfortable to wear against the skin. For this, you can use a lightweight cotton or lining fabric. Cut out your pattern pieces in your cotton for each lame piece you have. Place them together wrong side to wrong side. Then baste around the perimeter of the whole piece. Now you can sew the pieces together as you would a single layer of fabric. I would still recommend enclosed seams to prevent fraying. For a hem, consider doing a rolled hem. You can find the link for a rolled hem in the description. If you need to remove stitches, take them out carefully and then rub gently over the stitch holes to make them less noticeable. You can have some beautiful results with this fabric, but the most important part is to take your time. If you have some tips on working with tissue lame, please leave a comment below. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of our new releases. Also check out ProfessorPinkCushion.com to view our complete library with well over 450 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can join our YouTube membership and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.